David. Hello. I'm so happy to see you. Do you want another advanced English class? Good morning, teacher. Exactly. That's why I'm here. This is the teacher Peter Zavala. Good morning, everyone. I'm happy to be here with all of you today. I love teaching English. Excellent. Because I need you to teach us some important advanced English phrases. So we can improve our English and with practice, be able to speak as a native speaker. It is very good that they want to learn advanced English. I am very proud of all of you. And of course I will help you improve your English. Take notes and practice. It will help you a lot. Let's start with the phrase. Make it work. Have you ever heard this expression? I think I have, but I don't remember. Please, teach us how to use it. To make it work means to make the best out of a terrible situation. Do what you can with what you have. I will give you some examples, so you can understand this English phrase better. Because of the pandemic, I have had to stay home, work, and take care of the kids. I had to make it work. Another example. I can only go to the store once a month. I had to make it work. Or, my wife had another family before I met her, but we make it work. Another phrase is, where, what, or why on earth. A very known phrase. We use this phrase to express the idea of us or another person being clueless about something. This usually happens when you haven't seen or heard something in a long time. I'll give you some examples. Where on earth did you find my mom's necklace? Why on earth would anyone want to do that? Or, what on earth were you thinking? Another, why on earth would he jump off that building when he said life was so good? Another expression, some may argue, this phrase can be used in a negative and in a positive way. It is being used to express different viewpoints. I can give you some examples. Colombia is a great, friendly place to live. However, some may argue that it has crazy traffic. In winter it is very cold, but some may argue that during the day, it is really hot. Some may argue that children today have it better today than when the older generation went to school. It's a very famous expression, so I recommend you to use it in your everyday life. It's a great expression to express your opinion about any topic. Don't wait for the right time. You can start using this and the other phrases in any conversation. More advanced phrases. All right. Another good expression is take something up. This phrase is used to express that someone has started something new. For example, last year, I took up tennis. It means I started learning or practicing tennis. I took up learning English since the pandemic began. Many people did. I love animals so I took up a job as a veterinarian. I'd like to do that sometime. Another phrase is, to make ends meet, this means that you have a tight budget. You don't have a lot of money to spend. But you, make it work. Like the last expression.
You find creative solutions to find the money you need to cover your expenses. For example, I had to work extra hours just to make ends meet. Another one. Okay, that's it. You can go now. I came here just to visit the museum and that's it. Another phrase is, to make do, it means to get along with what is at hand. Maybe you have some challenges, but you're still working hard to achieve your goals. You're paying your bills, you're paying your rent, you're making do. Another example. I can't afford a new coat so I have to make do with this one. Did you get it? To find that, we can use this to express an opinion more formally, maybe in a meeting. For example, I find that if I leave the house before 7, there's not a lot of traffic. I find that as you get older, you learn what your own strengths and limitations are. Another phrase is, and this is important, to get into something. This phrase means to start something or to become interested in something. Maybe you want to get into a new hobby or explore a new skill. Then, you can say, Lately, I've been really getting into sports that are in nature. Or, what have you been getting into? This means, what have you been up to? Or what have you been doing lately? I've been getting into swimming. To handle something, this phrase means to manage it successfully. For example, are you able to handle all of your work or are you overwhelmed? Or, I'm not handling it very well. I think I need a hand to help me handle it. Another expression, to miss the point, it means that it went over your head or you didn't understand something. If you miss the point of something you hear or read, you don't understand what it really means. For example, I think you missed the point, so let me explain what I meant. If she thinks it's losing the money that bothers me, then she's missing the point. It's being treated like a fool that bothers me. Another great expression you should learn is, Oh, no. It's very late. I need to start my class. I'm really sorry. But I can help you with more advanced phrases in a next video, only if you want it. Fantastic. Thank you so much, teacher. You are the best. Can you give me more tips about how to improve my English, please? They're really helpful. Sure, but maybe some other time. Now, we ran out of time. Maybe in a next video. Of course, only if our subscribers want another video about tips to improve your English. I'm sure they want it. They will let us know on the comments. Right. Have a great day, teacher. Goodbye. Dear listeners, I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the Soper Think button. Thanks.